A Wrinkle in Time is directed by Ava DuVernay, stars Oprah Winfrey, Reese Witherspoon, Mindy Kaling, Gugu Mbatha-Ra, Chris Pine, Stora Reem is out, Galifianakis, and Michael Pena. And the basic plot of this movie is we meet Meg Murray, and she has been struggling with her home life, her school life, her and her little brother for five years since their scientist's father, Mr. Murray, has discovered a new planet and used the concept known as a Tesseract to travel there. So joined by Meg's classmate, Calvin O'Keefe, and guided by three mysterious astral travelers known as Mrs. What's It, Mrs. Who, and Mrs. Witch, the children brave on a dangerous journey to a planet that possesses all the evil in the universe. Therefore, we have all this other subplots and stuff going on, and it kind of makes this movie pretty darn convoluted at an hour and 49 minutes. This film was okay. It's okay, it's tolerable, but there are a lot. And I mean a lot of plot holes in this movie. Now, I'm not going to ruin anything. Just in case there are some people who want to see this movie. Which, this movie is not doing any good right now. But I do appreciate the message of diversity and female empowerment. And I understand what the story was trying to do. But, Ava DuVernay is a good director. Um... It's kind of pretty much a little more boring and slow. There are, I do like this idea of this planet. No, I do like the planet idea. I do like some of the other ideas that they decided to go along with in this movie. But, I will say this. Ava DuVernay is a pretty good director. I do li I do like Selma, even though that movie deals with a lot of heavy themes that's going on in that film. But this movie, she she was trying, and I understand this was her first big budget debut. She was trying to put herself out there, try to see, hey, let's see what I can do. Besides independent low budget films about about back then in 1960s with and I will say her heart is in the right place. It's just the way this movie is written and the execution that brings the movie down to its former essence, and it does make this movie pretty much of a mess like I said there are some story elements that are just there like confusing and doesn't really mesh well together and then the movie pretty much ends pretty the last half of this movie gets the tone changing doesn't really go anywhere it's um it's kind of goes from dark to light. I'm like, make up your mind what you're trying to be. But I, but I do have to say, I will give the movie some credit to where credit is due. The acting, for one, is really great on everyone's part. Oprah Winfrey does a great job. Mindy Kaling does a really good job. All the... All the performances are really good. Chris Pine is really good. You even get Rowan Blancard from Girl Meets World in here. And she's pretty good too. She's... The cinematography does look nice. The music and the effects are really nice. And... There's a hundred million dollars and ten million put into this movie. And some of the effects look good some of it looks good but some parts doesn't it kind of looks 
like it's a little dated now originally the budget was supposed to be 35 million dollars but for some real reason Disney thought that this budget of rising the budget up would be much better but it really all it did was just pretty much pretty much kind of mess with the movie a lot now the t I've never read the book so I don't know what's accurate and what's not accurate but this movie like I said this movie goes all over the place in terms of storytelling in terms of what it's trying to do and in terms of what the movie is basically about and it's very hard for me to connect to this movie now I know if a lot of people did not like Tomorrowland I lo I was one of the people who actually enjoyed Tomorrowland for what it was it was something original something clever but here it's, like I said, Ava DuVernay's heart is in the right place, but this movie pretty much bomb, is bomb, 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 bombing at the box office right now. So, yeah. And originally, I think this movie was supposed to come out la last year, I guess, but I don't know, I guess I probably pushed it back. But at the end of the day, this film is it's watchable, but it's not a movie I would I would uh, I would recommend. I would not recommend seeing this in the theater. I wouldn't recommend watch watching it in, in, in on Netflix. The least I can go with this. I can give this at least a red box rental at the very least because only if the parts I did enjoy I enjoyed Oprah Winfrey in here I enjoyed the performances here and a wrinkle in time a wrinkle in time is all right but as a Disney fan I wish you I expected more from you Disney you better hope Tron 3 tree Tron 3 Nothing. I'm reviewing. Like I said, uh, the Tron Three. You make Tron Three sometime in the future, because the this over budgeted stuff like this is what's kind of killing you right now. And we're not getting stuff like Tron Three. I want to see a Tron Three. So.